Hello, this is The Real Yam, and today I'm showing you something that I had questions about for years, at least two years. So, you've come here, you know what you're here for. You want to learn how to make pixel textures like these and put them into the game. That's what I wanted to know for a while. Here, today, I'm going to show you how. For starters, the first thing you've got to know is that you've got to make the canvas large. Otherwise, you'll end up with this blurry mess. Looks disgusting. You don't want that. So, let's just get this out of here. I don't like the look of it. So, the site I'm going to be using for this is um, this pixel art thing. It's free to use. Um, it's got some cool tools over here. I don't know what half this stuff does. Um, but it works, and that's what's important. I have a texture prepared right here for us. Um, you're going to have to forgive the... Uh, how terrible it looks! I am no pixel artist, but um, it, it'll it'll do the job. So what we're gonna want to do with this pixel texture? It's uh, 64 by 64. Is uh, first for any pixel texture, we're gonna want to make sure that it lines up with an actual part that exists in Studio. Um, I made this one uh, eight times eight times eight because I'd say for textures of this resolution, it's good to keep it. Um, 8 times 8 times 8. The general scale I'm going off of is that um, like 0.125 this would equal like one pixel and I'll show you how to do the math for that in a minute. It's, it's nothing crazy. So <clears throat> if you're doing something other than just a regular square that's going to fit um, 8 times 8 times 8. Just tapped into my recording software there. Um, let's say you have a cube that's um, six studs wide, um, six studs wide all around. That'll make it easier. Um, to match it to my scale, I simply do the smallest amount that I want to do for each pixel and divide it by that. So my scale, like the smallest scale I go off is 0.125. Just divide that by six and you get 48. Now that's going to be the scale we start off of. Of course, uh, this is still 64 by 64 but if you're doing something else you'll you'll use that and your canvas size will uh, vary depending on like if the other um, other side is a different length that kind of thing so we're here now but we're not ready to export and download just yet what we want to do and the thing that I didn't discover that was possible on this site for two years uh, is resize canvas now we have 64 by 64 it's good but we need that bigger. Otherwise, our product is going to end up like this vending machine here. Ugh. So, instead, what we're going to do is we're going to take 64 and times it by 4. Uh, generally, we want the size, the pixel size, to be, I'd say, usually over... A, a good standard would be like around at least 120, but generally you want to be over 200 to avoid... Um, the texture getting blurred. So I'm just going to paste that into both of these. And again, these will vary depending on how wide it is. And make sure that this tab is checked. Uh, there may be other settings in this site that I do not know about. I, I do not know everything that goes on in here. But this is what I found to work. Um, I'm sure there's tutorials online for this uh, in case you have any other questions on how this site works. So we're going to click Resize Drawing. Now, looks the same, but if you notice, our little cursor here only takes up a little bit. It's a lot smaller pixels now. So this is a larger canvas, and we can now export and download this into our files. We want to download this as a PNG specifically, um, especially for making transparent textures. It's going to need to be a PNG, which just popped up right there. Now, we're going to bring it over to Roblox and click Create. And the steps for this may change depending on if the developers decide to switch around everything again. We're going to go to Creations, Development Items, and then Decals. Now we'll see an Upload Asset button here, hopefully. Uh, we'll click on that. Uh, decal Type, don't, uh, no need, real need to change any of this. I'm going to Upload and click the most recent download, or Home in this case. Uh, pixel frame dash zero forty four. So it's going to be the general name of the file unless you rename it for something else. I recommend you do. 
I don't label anything in my files, and uh, it's not the best habit. So now it's in Roblox. We can rename this to whatever we want, really. I'm going to name it Tile Test 4. Um, no real need for a description. If you want to add one, you can. Um, but all we really need to do from here is click Upload. I don't think I clicked that. There we go. So it is now in our decal library. And you see that it's white. Uh, that will change the moment it gets through Roblox moderation system. Hopefully it does without any problems. Um, if you do, just email them. Hopefully they'll respond. Uh, but now that that's in there, we can go back into Studio, go into Decals, and then go over to our cube here. And as you'll see, it is in the decal list. So we can take that right here to this cube and put it in. Boom. Now, we are not fully done. This is just a decal on front of it, like an image pasted. And that's fine for certain purposes, but if we try and drag it around like any other texture, ugh, oh, that's not what we want. So we're going to fix that by copying this out of this. We don't need that anymore. And now what we're going to insert into this part is a texture. Now you simply copy, paste, or uh, paste, sorry, the texture directly into here. Booyah. Ooh, now that's not what we want either. But remember, this says right here, studs per tile two, and our cube is eight tiles wide. So we are going to bump that up to eight, bump that up to eight, boom, fixed. Um, these in particular offset allow you to sort of shift the texture around. Uh, I did that wrong. There we go. Uh, depending on uh, where you want it on the part, Generally, though, you don't have to touch this. It's only for certain cases, like I was building this cargo container over here. I needed to do it. But uh, in most cases, it will not be a problem. Now, we have this, but it's only covering one side. How do we fix that? We're going to copy this texture and paste it. Uh, excuse me. There we go. Copy and paste into this uh, about five times. So now we have six textures. We're going to go into the second one, or really any one. Uh, we're going to go to face. I'm going to select back. It'll s usually start off at front. So we want to click every other f option besides front for the rest of these. Bottom. It's going to be left, right, and top. So now we have this. Um, depending on how well the texture ports over, it, sometimes Studio can still have issues. You might just want to change this to um, neon and then to black. This also helps decrease uh, how much reflectivity you get. And if you want reflectivity on these, you can mess with the material some more. But generally, at least for this style that I'm going for, uh, you do not want that. So, now you can stretch this around as much as you want. You have a texture made of pixels. Ooh. Now, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. I know I wish I had a video like this uh, when I was trying to learn this, but I learned it on my own. Now you can reap these rewards for yourself. Anyways, that's all, folks. See you later.